on up on up on up today is friday the 13th oh it's friday the 13th well it hasn't been a bad day for me so far so that's good i am on the way right now to go to studio to meet with my professor just have like a little meeting like a check-in or whatever i haven't been in studio in like two weeks and i haven't really done much <laughs> since last time we met However, I did finish writing my artist statement today. So I'm really, I feel really proud and like I'm in a good place because now that I finished this, like this is awesome. Ooh, there's a cop car right there. I just feel like I'm in a really good place now that I have that written because I got to send it to my seminar teacher, which is who it was for. And then I also sent it to my professor who I'm going to meet right now. Now I can also send it to my major professor who has been asking me if I have an outline for my thesis and the answer to that is no but now that I have this artist statement which is all encompassing and it's like it shows where I'm I think the most cohesive definitive argument that I've had so far throughout probably from oh shit no 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 I'm gonna have to go to the next exit because this one is maybe am I gonna regret it am I gonna regret it let's see pull right side Sometimes this light takes like 10 minutes to get through this light, like no joke, like 10 to 12 minutes to get through it. Okay, well, I should have gone the next exit. Whatever. Most cohesive artist statement that I've ever written, I think, even since undergrad. So it still encompasses this like abandoned building, uh, like fascination that I have. And I finally have like the reason for that. And I've kind of just been like flailing, trying to figure out like what might stick and like what makes sense of like why I have this interest in like abandoned buildings, urban exploring, that kind of thing. So now it finally works. And not only does it work, it also includes or sort of aligns all of my other work that I've done. Like everything makes so much more sense now with this new argument. And then I can also, so my committee members, I have four committee members. What the, are you kidding me? What an ass. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, it makes this lane back up when people get in this lane trying to get over into that lane. Oh, um, okay, so I have four committee members that are that, are, that uh, review my work and talk to me about it, ask me questions or whatever, give me insight, things like this. Throughout my time in undergrad, and you have a continuance review, which is your first year. So if you pass your continuance review in your first year, then you go on to second year. And you have a committee, so you have to present your work from first year to your committee, and they like review it, and you write about it, and, they sh and you show them what you're reading and stuff like that. And that's like a meeting that happens and then you have to pass and if you don't pass then you have to retest and if you fail your second re-examination or whatever then you are asked to leave the program but i passed first time so that was good but i know a lot of people who did not pass first time which i don't know what i i don't know it's what it's one of those things it's like imposter syndrome like why did i pass but like a lot of people didn't pass like i feel like i wasn't deserving of a pass i don't know I pretty much have felt this way the entire time I've been in, in grad school. I'm almost done. Um, and then second year you have a candidacy review. Why is this person going so slow? Why are you going so slow? And she's literally like this. Like she's up on her steering wheel like this, driving. Second year you have a candidacy review, which again is another test with your committee where uh, you just... <laughs> I hate everyone right now. Oh yeah, you waved, so now it's better that you just cut me off. Cool. I also passed my candidacy review in second year. And that means you can go on to third year. The same thing if you fail, then you retest and whatever. And again, I believe everyone passed, as far as I know. There might have been someone who didn't, but I didn't hear about it. So I did hear about a lot of people not passing first year, but I also don't know for sure. And then third year, at the end of third year, you have your thesis defense, which is the same thing, and you use your committee, and they ask you questions, and whatever. And this is for your thesis work, which is supposed to be like 20 pages long, um, and then have your work that's in the thesis show. So for my thesis show, I plan on having my stained glass work, so my umbrella that I'm currently working on, that pillow, and I hope to have at least one other piece done for that, for that period, for that time. The point of me saying this was that now I have an artist statement, and I haven't met with any of my committee members other than Derek, who I'm meeting right now. I wanna send them all this statement and just like check in with them. I'll check in with you while we're in studio and show you where we're at. Oh man, this person's over the line. Oh well. This 
Is it for you? Yes, you good boy. Did you get a treat? Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> okay. There we go. This um, is a broken corner vessel. It was supposed to be in the corner of like a window and a wall kind of. It's broken though. I use like really thin, yeah, it's broken. I used like really thin copper foil, so it wasn't the strongest. And the only way that I put them together, like I only did like a couple of the corners, like I did a very limited job of the solder. So of course it's like falling apart. Some of them are better, like this is a better connection. I thought it would be cool to have just like the copper foil. Anyway, it was an experiment. But um, I want to spend some time at home um, removing the copper foil, cleaning off the edges. So like now that they have this adhesive, I need to take like some goo gone or something to clean these edges off. So then I have fresh pieces of glass that have already been ground. So literally just reusing these um, and then re copper foiling them so that I have more of these clear pieces that are cut and ground that I don't have to just like keep cutting and grinding glass. Um, obviously I'm never doing anything with this because it's really broken and whatever. So, I mean, it's not that like unstructural. This is really the only part that's like super bad. Like the rest of it is basically fine. So I'm going to take this home and work on it as well. But for now, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my new soldering iron that's in that cabinet and solder, probably finish the glass on this panel and then maybe start on another panel today. And I'm going to do that while we're here. Also, this area over here is really um, just kind of gross at this point because I was using this grinder a bunch. So there's a lot of like, I don't know, the paper that's on the table is just like really messed up. So I want to take everything off and then replace the paper and have that area nice and clean again. Also, in big news, I have a new grinder coming that is like way more powerful and like way nicer. So that will be here on Tuesday and it's going to make my grinding so much quicker. So I'm really excited for that. Here's the progress. Thank God. Okay, so what I was doing today that I think is interesting. So I was adding pieces that would go over the rod. So I have them going, where is it? Oh, here. So it goes over and then connects and then kind of goes down a little bit. It's like sort of, it's just so hard to like really show the change in depth on video, but you can kind of tell it. Um, and then the other thing, I was like, okay, cool, this is going well. But then I was like, what about going underneath? So now I have some going underneath, so I'll have them kind of connecting. But I have to pee. I'm hungry. Um, so I'm going to get cleaned up the rest of the way and then head home. So there we go. That's right. Here for a blizzard at the chill grill. <laughs> In line. <laughs> 